my bed. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's some sizable damage there. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fraud YouTube channel. Wow, dude. Big upgrade. Got a trunk, too? Yeah, I got a trunk. I got taillights. I just didn't put them in there, but I got me <laughs> turn five fan. Really cleaned car. her up. Blue. So what are you just gonna kind of like sand the car and have Chris wrap it? Yeah, he just told me to like get it smooth. So like in the areas where it's not the smoothest, I'll just make it smooth and he's gonna wrap it. Yeah, there you go. All right, so guys, we got James drift car out here and we got Donnie the drift car in here, which we just had to do a little bit of an alignment on. Believe it or not, he came out of alignment after uh, uh, basically like six months of abuse without even nut and bolt checking Taylor's work. It, uh, Finally, it was a little bit too far out of alignment. So, got that towed in, and Dr. Tuna Mall's here too. And tomorrow is the big drift event out here at the Freedom Factory. So, James and I are going to do some drifting. It'd be good for you to get some practice. You've really only driven. Time. I got like seven minutes of experience <laughs> under my belt. So. Yeah, and Nate's going to kind of work on the tune up on James' car a little bit too. So, obviously, you guys know drift night's tomorrow night, and uh, our buddy Pat Gooden came out here and helped us make a drift route because when you do a drift event, especially the first one at this facility, it's good to have like a pre-designed layout. Like when we're at LS Fest or other competitions, they do a pre-designed layout because that can prevent, you know, two drivers going the wrong direction. So we had to kind of want to guide them. So guys, funny story. Uh, I don't know if I'm even ready to talk about it yet, but Rocket's engine blew up at basically the worst time ever. So we're just towing it out here. This happened about two weeks ago and it's been sitting here, but threw a rod through the side of the block. As you can see, got some bearing and some rod materials. No bueno, dude. See so if Dr. Tina Mall can tune that rod back in there? Yeah, Nate, can you fix that? Okay, so here's what we're dealing with. Just like when we're at LS Fest or something, you sit in grid, you pull off, come down this way say what's up to the crowd and then you can choose to go down into here and drift or you can choose to take the high side and then no matter which side you come down you're gonna be driving through here at some point so you drive through this and then you come across the pad and back into here Say what's up to the people again. Drift this out. And then freaking boom, decel. And then you'll exit over here. So until the, the pair of cars that we just released are done, we'll wait till they're on this straightaway and then we can release the next pair from over there. And then we'll have a little sprinkler head, put some water on the track so that everyone can cool their tires down. And I like it because you can decide one or the other and you go past the crowd twice so you have to go past the crowd once on the entry and then you have to come back through here which you know bleachers are right here so it's gonna be sweet oh baby donnie is looking fresh all right let's see what he can do Pretty darn smooth to me. All right, number two, big bang. Beautiful. It's uh, it's just long enough. Like it feels just like uh, Sam and Bowling Green or yeah. with Vaughn. Like that's the exact same amount of time you do one of those uh, drift routes and then you get back yeah. in line. So, and then yeah. I think later in the night, maybe if 
you know some of the drivers are falling out and stuff and we just got like 15 20 left we can open it up and let some people freestyle yeah yeah no that route looks pretty sick like it's it, it flows and the dive down and then your face in the wall it's like yeah. oh gosh cool it's a little spicy yeah that's for the advanced drivers for yeah 100 sure. percent. <laughs> hopefully we don't get any heroes out here <laughs> trying to do that because that yeah. that bank has some grip you got to really be getting after it good thing about it though is that they'll be in their own cars so yes sir It's already broken. This is broken. No shot. Son of a biscuit. Donnie, why'd you have to do us like that? It's gonna, we're creating the lake of, oh well, it looks pretty dark, I'll say it's that. very, very thin. Look how thin it is. It's like water right here. I really did like three or four rips. I wonder what oil we put in this. Doesn't look bad yet, I mean. No way, dude. Well, time to initiate plan B. Crank it. it again? Something. I don't, it's on this side. Either the lifter is broken or the piston's hitting the valve. Go ahead. Yep. Oh, yeah, I can feel it. Ready? What's that? The lifter just rub it on it. It may have twisted sideways and it's before the wheel locked up. All right, folks, we're going to decide on a avenue here because we got to have one of the drift cars up and going for drift night. So, guys, we just decided we're pulling a late nighter. And the thing is, we're going to look at this on the bright side. Donnie needed a gigantic Texas Speed engine, so he's going to get one. 
So the goal is, since this threw a rod, we're gonna go ahead and pull this engine out, which is just a uh, stock LS1 with a cam. And my buddy, Parker Whitlock, is putting together a six liter for us and we're gonna put it in here. But right now we're gonna start taking this engine out and seeing what's good, because hopefully we can use the heads, but uh, we're gonna make sure Rocket is ready for drift night. We gotta have at least Rocket going and then we'll have James Carr and, and neighbor. But I'm really, uh, we're just gonna make this happen, dude. What would be the spirit of having our own drift night if we didn't do an engine swap the night before? So bummer on Donnie. We'll get rocket fixed. Let me, let me get a shot up here real quick. Let me see if I can still see it. Ugh. Guys, I go get the engine hoist. Ooh. Took me like 15 minutes and you guys already have the motor almost out. Look at this. This is when you guys really shine, you know? I just want to tell you that. Oh, gosh. Yeah, let's... We're going to need a windage tray. Uh, Are we going to need an oil pan? Oh. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's some sizable damage there. Yeah, right out the bottom, dude. That's impressive. That's actually really impressive. Right okay. So we need to get a GTO pan? I have a GTO pan, I just don't have a windage tray. I have a pan and pin. Okay, cool. I get a windage tray. On the commodity though, on the 240 market. Yep, so I need it. Almost clipped the power steering lines. Almost. Golly. Dude, that is spicy. Hold on, is the pin still good? Yeah, okay, we can reuse that. We'll reuse it, no big deal. Bad news boys, you're two minutes shy of the freaking Mountain Dew. <laughs> hey look, I think that was fast enough, I'll hook you up. But it's only gonna be one of the like, you know the little cans? Yeah. <laughs> James and Ty just thrashed this thing out. Uh, neighbor just got an oil change. We did plugs earlier, so fresh big old K and N filter. We run those giant ones on this thing. Let's see, there it is. Big boy in there, and uh, I think we're ready for tomorrow. Just got to get this thing fixed. All right, guys, just like that, engine is out of rocket. We're gonna have a motor done in the morning. Our buddy Parker's putting it together right now. He's literally boring it uh, as we speak. The thing's on the machine, so uh, you know things happen. So. Get rocket set up tomorrow. Neighbor's done ready to rip. Looking good. See you in the morning.